shoot. Oh, what's going on everybody and welcome back. Oh, it's been a minute since I shot a video. It's kind of different, kind of weird, right? But uh, I'm back and you get to see a whole lot of me in this goofy angle, but good news is, is there is a new MTB Pro Box out and I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, we're in February, everything's still frozen here in Chicago. There's no getting around it, no deal, you know, it, it sucks. But um, I did get a, uh, I picked up a John boat the other day. I'm working on some uh, Tiny Boat Nation kind of deal on that. Uh, it should be pretty fun, but this is the main reason that we're here. February, let's get started. The dibble literally fell out because I cut this thing open because I was super excited about it upstairs. And uh, let's start right off the bat. Uh, we have listed first up is the Spro Bronze Eye Shad, which is, I believe, going to be a frog. And I'm correct. Um, so this is kind of different, and it's color specifically. And I'm going to have to probably bring you guys in a little bit closer. Uh, normally, I like doing these completely uncut. Just why not? But whoa, the colors on this are legitly different. Um, and they also have... Come here, come, come closer. Come, come close to me. Come here, come, come into my realm, okay? We need, we need some more, more of this. So this bad boy, check that out. The colors on this, super different. Uh, really think it looks great. I love the, the, the trail, the trailer on this is different. It's not the normal, normal trailer, um, or normal tail, I should say. So really cool. Boy, you could probably hear my kids upstairs. They're really loud. That's okay, because you know what? Family. Um, easily compressible, just like any other Spro frog, so that's kind of cool. No harm, no foul there. It's a really narrow-faced little deal, so I bet this walks really, really well. This is going to be a great lure. Um, I'm excited for, I don't know why they're setting this in the middle of winter. This is a summer, you know, it's early spring, all spring, all fall lure, all the time great lure, but not in winter. Um, I can't throw this on ice, guys. So I'm not really sure why you would send a frog in winter. I think they need to really correspond with what and when they're selling, but they're getting me excited for summer. So that's the thing. Next up, we have the Vexen Fat Boy. I like rattles. Uh, this is a deep diving beast. This thing goes up to 12 feet. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Uh, I've currently been spraying baits, so I can tell you with 100% certainty that one, their packaging is, is clean. I love the packaging. And two, this isn't anything that you know you or I couldn't make, uh, but it looks nice. It's got a little bit of this like uh, as you share, or AYU shad type deal, AYU shad uh, on the top, a little bit of the, uh, the red belly, red neck section. Um, I'm going to say they probably straight dip their lures uh, based on what I can see on the lip here. Um, but all in all, really clean, clean job that they did with these. Um, it feels rough on the sides, like it's not enough uh, clear coat. However, I can tell you from just kind of looking at it that it is, uh, it's the speckles in it that makes it feel that way. Very cool. Um, I'm going to use this for sure. It looks like they're using maybe the, uh, using a pretty long shank. Um, and they look like they are the same size hooks, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna have, with this really wide bill, look at that bill, that thing is super wide. So I love this as a blank in general, like this looks awesome. This thing's gonna really, really wobble through the water. It's gonna be great for any color of water, truth be told. Any color of water, um, and you wanna go 12 feet, that's gonna be money. And with those rattles, fish are gonna come from a mile away. I, I really like that, so that's super cool um, packaging. Next up, let's see what we have here. The Oni Owner, Owner, oh, Owner makes some killer hooks, dude. Okay, Owner Shaky Football Head. Let's that bad boy at. So you get three of them. They are five odd? Ooh, that's a big in. Let's see what we got here. Right, you're just getting ripped open. I don't really care about your packaging. You guys need to rethink your packaging. This is not easy to play with. Um, not fun to open, but here we are. Um, it's really just a football head, uh, football style head. You can see that bad boy. It's got a little keeper on there on the on the face. Um, straight shank hook on the back, so that's kind of different. 
Uh, and this isn't a green pumpkin. They screwed up on the on the actual paint job here. You can see a little blemish in it. You guys probably can't see that. It's way too fine. But there's a little bit of a blemish on there. Um, but owner hooks are crazy sharp. Like crazy sharp. So, I mean, these are definitely going to get bit. There's no question about it as long as you hook it up with something correct. And if I was going to hook it up with something, I'd probably go ahead and grab one of these soft plastics that they put in the bag. Uh, first up, they have... Is it the Riot? The Riot Baits... Dang, they give you a bunch in this one. This I appreciate. Riot, you guys, you did good. Um, these bags are crazy expensive. I've looked into this. Um, super expensive bags, but... Let's get this bad boy open. This is a really cool worm to me. This is something I think you could rig up a bunch of different ways, and the color is super cool. Um... Wow, Riot, this is unique. Look at this shape. Look at that shape for a worm, guys. Look at that. See how it's got like three distinct portions to it? Um, one, wacky rigged. This thing's going to wobble like crazy and make more motion than any other lure, I think, going into the water. Outside of like those dual paddle tails. The color is super natural, so this is going to be only really good in super clear water. I would not throw this in murky water with this color that's on here. It's super natural and not going to do well on anything else. Um, and I would not throw this on that shaky head. But all in all, this is a great little wacky worm rig. I think you could throw this uh, Texas rigged as well, especially with the pointed end here. I think that's going to look really nice. See that? Uh, that's going to wiggle like crazy. Um, no real scent, just traditional plastisol. Um, they need to use a little bit more oil in their bags. There's no oil to these. There's, you know, they're, they're going to get stuck together over time, but all in all, I can't complain about that at all. Um, you know, and they give you a bunch. I don't know how many is in here. Does it say somewhere? No, it doesn't. And that's what makes me so angry about plastics companies. Put the information on the bags, folks. How many are in here? What color? That kind of thing. Do it. Make it happen. Come on. You're better than this. You are better. I challenge you, soft plastic makers, put that information on your bags. I don't care if you hand write it. Just do it so we know what we're getting. You've been challenged, world. Challenged. Accept my challenge. All right. Next up, we have the Z-Man Big something or other. Big T R D. Now, I will say, everybody blasted me on my last one for how the soft plastic is for Z-Man. I know. Thank you. I knew. I knew that. I wanted to see if you guys knew that. More of the stretch, um, which allows you to get more fish. Yes. Thank you for noticing. Um, okay, this is going to work great as like a, a longer variation uh, on a, of a Ned Rig. Uh, Texas Rig, this will work fantastic with this shaky head. Babuja, um, if the colors matched a little bit better, it'd be even better. This is going to work good in clear water still. So again, not in murky water. Again, very natural color. Uh, the the light gray in this, if you can see that, it's got like a two tone laminate color. If if they can get, if you can get this into good spots in murky water, it'll work. But other than that, you're going to want to stick to clear water with this color. If you got one of the other colors, different story. Rock that thing. Rock it out. All right, next, Catchco Tickler. Tickler. <laughs> that's funny, it makes me laugh. Does it tickle? All right, Catchco, that's not Catchco. And this is a lot of soft plastics of this bin this month. Um, not a fan of that. I, I told, I've said it before. For me, I, I love soft plastics. Soft plastics are my favorite thing to throw, but my kids are crazy. But in these types of packages, when we're paying for a monthly fee, send hard baits. That's what we want. That's, it's just that simple. You did a great job last month, though. So there's that. All right, next up, Ketchco. The Tickler. This is just a Sanko. Um, really, see, this is what I'm looking for. See how glossy that is? It's on my fingers. This is a good amount of oil. It smells good. It's definitely a good soft plastic. This is like a dark pink blue flake that is beautiful you guys can't even look look at that oh oh what is, does it do they have it let's see yeah catch is notorious for not telling you anything about what you're getting um which drives me absolutely crazy put something on here guys please please the boy 
You get a bunch of them. There's a ton in here. Look at how fat this is. A ton of these Sankos. Uh, it looks to be like a five inch Sanko. Awesome. I'm, I'm digging this. Like this is a good color. This is a good lure. Um, this is gonna work in a lot of places. It's gonna work in dark water, clear water. Um, I would say river. This is gonna be a killer river lure, which I'm really a big fan of. Awesome sauce. Uh, and they have it. I mean, I can feel it on my hands all the oil That's what you want to see in a bait company in the soft plastics company is that oil that oil is going to keep the, um, the Soft plastics from sticking together. It's also gonna let them last longer get on your hook better. I mean Come on, come on soft plastics companies step up to that level catch co you did great on lure color great on how many are in the bin everything like that Name them. Give me something. Give me give me give me give me names All right Last but not least, we have the Bruiser Baits Crazy Craw. I love craws. So this is good. And again, again, a giant failure. Nothing on the packaging Tell me, telling me anything about what this is. I mean, are we O for all? Or, no, the only one that did Z-Man? Z-Man did it. Z-Man, you hit it right here. Bang. Okay. Great job. I know what it is. Whoops. I can go back and buy more. Right, the whole purpose of this, and the reason MTB gets to gets to give away this stuff, if you will, I'm sure okay. they pay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to delay this, but needless to say, the Crazy Craw is legit. I think this is a great lure, great color. I'm gonna have to let me go deal with the baby, and I'll be I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm a dad. I have three kids. What do you do? Okay, I can't leave these hooks out. He'll say, the bruiser looks good. Put some freaking color names on. Let me know what I'm buying, okay? Let's get it. All in all, guys, good box. Too many soft plastics. Give me more hard baits. That's what we're looking for, folks. MTB, you have been told. Catchco, you have been told. All these soft plastic companies, get it right. Until next time, guys, happy foozin'. Foosball video is coming soon.